Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to another PHP 7 tutorial. I am so sorry I haven't uploaded a tutorial in a while. I had family in town. I started coding a website, which has turned into a big project, and I have been playing Slime Rancher. So I'm getting back in the groove and uploading this video. So in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at functions within PHP. So let's get into it. Okay, so essentially a function is something that we can create a bit of code and rather than rewriting that code over and over, we can write it once as a function and recall it as many times as we want later. So for example, like a login function uh, would be a good, good uh, function to create. Uh, so let's go ahead and open and close our PHP tags. And I'm not going to use any HTML for this, uh, at least not right now. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell it function and then the name of the function. So we'll just call this test. And then we're gonna put our brackets and our square brackets. So now, you know, we'll just actually, rather than test, we'll name this hello. So what we can do now is we can say echo hello world. Put a period in there, proper uh, punctuation and whatnot. And um, we can uh, refresh this, and as you can see, it's a blank page. Nothing's happened. Well, that's because we haven't actually called the function. So now, if we say hello, save that, and refresh it, now we get our oop, hello world. So let's do another example of that. Um, we could say... Uh, let's say we wanted to uh, echo a login form. So what we could do here, uh, now I will use HTML, I guess I lied. So let's just say login. So, and obviously this wouldn't work for a login system, um, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll just show you. Anyways, uh, echo, single quotes. So what we wanna do is we wanna create, a, um, we'll just do a form. Just you know, I, I know this isn't proper and this wouldn't work, but just to give you an idea. So uh, input type equals double quotes because we're within single quotes here. Text name equals double quotes. Actually, you know what? We don't even need a name because we're just using this as an example. Placeholder equals username. And then we can create a line break. And then uh, we can come down here and we can say input type equals double quotes again. Password placeholder equals double quotes again. Password. And we'll create another line break. Actually, we'll create two just to make it pretty. And we will create another input, uh, input type equals submit. Okay, so now if we save that and refresh, we get nothing. Oh, we get a syntax error. Unexpected, what line? Line nine. Oh, it's because I didn't... Um, There we go. Okay, we get nothing. Now, however, if we call login, we will see our form appear. So that would uh, be a very basic example of a function. So we could, um, you know, something else would be like, uh, if you wanted to create a function called, you know, like welcoming them, like, uh, like if you were building a website and you wanted to say, welcome Zach, and then with a link to log out, but you didn't want to have to code that every time you could do, um, we'll create a variable called name equals Zach. What am I doing? I mean, that would work actually, but, and we will create, actually, you know what? We'll put that within the function. So function welcome. And we'll create a variable, because that would have given us an error. Name equals Zach. 
and we will put the uh, messages. We'll do echo, um, welcome. Put a space there, let's concatenate name. And then we'll concatenate again and we'll put in some HTML. And we can say log out. It helps if I put the link A H R E F equals double quotes, because we're working within single quotes. Uh, log out dot PHP, which obviously doesn't exist. Just an example. So uh, let me take a quick look here. Yeah, that should work fine. So now if we call this um, function, so welcome, save that and refresh, welcome Zach. So we could do something like welcome, make this uh, correct here. Um, oh, um, there we go. So there we go. Welcome Zach log out. So rather than coding that uh, for every different or for every page on your website, uh, you could um, create a function for it and you could put your functions in a separate file and include the function file within uh, all of your pages. So you can call that whenever you needed to. So that has been uh, a brief introduction into functions. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Turn on notifications. That way you know I, when I post a new video. And I will uh, get back to posting on a regular basis, I promise. I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.